Hello, everybody. My name is Rachel Feinstein. I'm the department chair and instructional coach for the mathematics department here at Del Mar High School. I also teach AP Calculus AB. Our ninth grade students have two options when it comes to math classes. The first of those options is integrated math one. This class is for students who are currently in math eight or an on level eighth grade math class. It is one third algebra one with a focus on linear functions, one third geometry and one third statistics. The other math class students traditionally take in ninth grade is integrated math two. This is for students in eighth grade who are in the CAP class or an accelerated eighth grade math class. This class is one third algebra one with a focus on quadratic equations, one third geometry and one third probability. If your student has already completed algebra one and geometry, please email me for options for that student. In all of our math classes here at Del Mar High School, we emphasize procedural fluency and conceptual understanding. So not just how to do the problem, but why we are doing each step and how the mathematics actually works. This is the pathway from ninth to 12th grade for students who enter Del Mar High School in integrated math one. In 10th grade, they would take integrated math two. Over the summer, some students choose to take integrated math three at a community college. If they did that, they'd be able to take integrated math four pre-calculus in 11th grade, followed by AP Calculus AB in 12th grade. Students who take IM4 in 11th grade, followed by AP Calculus AB in 12th grade, are prepared to take the IB Mathematics Approaches and Analysis exam at the end of their 12th grade year. Students who do not choose to take a summer class can take either Integrated Math 3 or Integrated Math 3 STEM in 11th grade. Students who chose to take Integrated Math 3 in 11th grade in 12th grade can take IM4 Pre-Calculus or our IB Applications and Interpretations Math class. If students chose to take IM3 STEM in 11th grade, they have the additional option in 12th grade of taking AP Calculus AB. Students who enter Del Mar High School in Integrated Math 2 in 9th grade, then in 10th grade have the option of taking IM3 or IM3 STEM. Students who take IM4 Pre-Calculus in 11th grade, followed by AP Calculus AB in 12th grade, again, are prepared to take the IB Math Approaches and Analysis exam at the end of their 12th grade year. Students in 12th grade also have the option of taking the IB Applications and Interpretations course. I know this was a lot of information. Feel free to email me with any questions. My email is rfeinstein at cuhsd.org. I look forward to hearing from you and meeting your student next year. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Cassie and I am the Social Science Department Chair here at Del Mar. I currently teach US History and IB History of the Americas Year One and I am here to talk to you about the class we offer for freshmen and our social science pathways. So here at Del Mar, our course that we offer for our freshmen is um, an elective and it is ethnic studies. So um, within this class, students explore some really important issues like identity. They look at questions like, who am I? Who are we as a society? They look at the idea of power, who has power in our society and why? How does one get or how does a group of people get power? They look at ideas of creating change. How can they as students become activists for change? And they also explore the ideas of um, building allies and building community. This course is really great for freshmen and it also covers the G elective. So um, first and foremost, this course is just really interesting. They learn, students have the opportunity to learn and discuss um, issues of race, gender, class, and they're able to do so in a really safe space with other students their same age. Um, it also helps prepare them for their first um, high school social science um, course. So as for in 10th grade, we offer government and economics. And so by taking ethnic studies as freshmen, it really helps develop those skills and kind of gets them ahead. And finally, just overall academic skills, they work on reading, writing, source evaluation and discussion. So it's a really great course for students to engage in. And here at Del Mar, we have a pretty unique pathway that we're excited to introduce this coming year. So as I said earlier, our ninth grade course is an elective, so students can choose to take it. 
And then in 10th grade, all students take government and economics together. We do have an AP option where students can um, use a calendar, that, a calendar that we provide to prepare for the AP exam on their own. Um, this allows us to better prepare students uh, who might want to take the IB pathway later on or explore a modern issues pathway. So by taking government and economics in the 10th grade, students are able to explore issues that are really relevant to them and the world in which they live. And we're also able to prepare them directly for the skills that they need to be successful in 11th and 12th grade. So as they become upperclassmen, students have two choices um, it, within social science, and it really just depends on their interests. So if they're interested in the history of the Americas, looking at not just the United States, but all of North, Central, and South America, they can look into taking IB History of the Americas or IB HODA. So this is a two-year IB course. We explore issues like rights and protests, where we do a comparative study between the United States and South Africa. We look at the Cold War. Um, we look at imperialism in Latin America and the Great Depression, just to name a few. If that's not really their cup of tea, students also have the opportunity to take the modern issues pathway, where they take essentially world history. It's labeled as world history um, and U.S. history. So in 11th grade, they take standard U.S. history, but we frame it with a more modern approach. And then as seniors, they take world history, which we frame again with a more modern approach. Students also within our department have the opportunity to take electives. Uh, so we offer sociology, psychology, and IB psychology. So there's lots um, for students to engage in depending on their interests. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact me and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Hi, my name is Anna Lucas. I am the chair of the science department at Del Mar High School and I teach IB biology and chemistry. In this video, I'm going to explain our freshman physics class and the science pathways at Del Mar. At Del Mar, all freshmen take physics. In this class, students learn the fundamental concepts of physics in addition to the science skills they will need in future courses at Del Mar. The concepts covered in physics include kinetics, which teaches students to describe the motion of objects in multiple modalities, forces with a focus on Newton's laws and the concepts of momentum and impulse, electricity and magnetism, where students learn the interaction between magnetic and electric fields, waves in which students use mathematics to describe wave motion and wave interactions. Finally, in our stars unit, students learn about the formation of the universe and the life cycle of stars. After students have completed our ninth grade physics course, they move into our 10th grade chemistry class. All sophomores take chemistry. In this course, we build on the foundation of science skills that was begun in the ninth grade while teaching the fundamentals of matter. The concepts covered in chemistry include energy and energy transfer, the structure of an atom, chemical bonding, chemical reactions, and climate change. In the 11th grade, students have a choice of whether to take our two-year biology course or biology. IB Biology is a college level course and students can earn college credit in this course upon successful completion of the IB Biology exam at the end of their senior year. We also offer four electives in the Del Mar Science Department. These include Forensic Science, IB Environmental Systems and Society, IB Sports, Exercise and Health Science, and IB Design Technology. Electives are available only to juniors and seniors. Juniors may choose to take one of these electives in addition to the required biology or IB biology course. We love science at Del Mar and our science teachers cannot wait to meet your student. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me using the information shown. Hi, this is Claire Chatfield, one of the English department chairs. I speak for the whole department when I say that we're sorry we're not able to meet you, students and families, in person this year. Nevertheless, I'll do my best to share what we do and how we do it in English. This is a snapshot of our uh, English department faculty. New for 2021, all ninth graders will be enrolled in English 1. So uh, if you have had a student 
at Del Mar, you might know that we used to have two choices in ninth grade, English 1 and English 1 ICAP, which is our honors class. Starting this August, all students are going to be placed in English 1, and here are the reasons for that. Um, We've been talking about this decision for a few years, and um, it was in this last year that we decided that we were committing to that for 2021. Um, curriculum has become virtually the same in English 1 and English 1 ICAP over the past four years. Students have been doing the same IB aligned readings, projects, and essays in both class, both classes. Half our ninth graders or more were already in ICAP classes, self-selecting. We wanted uh, equity for all students, regardless of which middle or K through eight school they come from. This is a change in name, not in challenge or engagement. And um, students have been entering our uh, accelerated IB Lang and Lit class in 11th grade and 12th grade from regular English 1 and 2, English 1 and 2 ICAP, and all report feeling fully prepared for the class. So that, that told us we were doing the work in all the classes in English 1. And so we're uh, getting rid of the ICAP option. Um, in English 1, here are some of the texts that students read and study. Um, they do a lot of different types of writing, uh, and that would be the case for every single year in uh, English. So you can see some of the types. And then English 2 and ICAP, again, that's the honors. These are some of the units that they do. So um, we offer a wide variety of texts and text types and a wide variety of writing assignments. There are oral presentations, both individual and group. At the end of ninth grade, students can make the decision about whether to go into regular English 2 or English 2 ICAP. This is up to the student, not the teacher. There's no test, no essay requirement, no minimum GPA. We find that students who want the extra challenge of ICAP self-select this class. And in fact, this year, about 70% of current ninth graders have signed up for English 2 ICAP next year. That's, that's a record for us. So we can see that there's a lot of flexibility for students um, in their pathway for English. They can, uh, they can be in English 1 and then do regular English 2 and then move straight into IB Lang and Light year 1 and year 2. Or they can uh, choose English 2 ICAP their sophomore year, go into um, IB Lang and Lit, or uh, from either of those options, go into English 3. Um, all of our courses are college prep classes, which means that they're all UC and CSU approved. Our IB Lang and Lit course offers a grade bump each year, and this simply means that an A receives five points rather than the traditional four uh, when a student's GPA is calculated. So briefly, these are some English 3 units. We've got a really cool Lit Circles unit where students get to choose one of the texts listed and read in small groups. It's like book clubs within the classroom. And again, we do a lot of different types of writing assignments. And we also do a real world reading and writing unit um, in junior year. This is sort of a snapshot of the units and texts in Ivy Lang in the year one and in year two. And these are always changing, but there are requirements for IB, from IB, for texts to be from different eras and different countries and continents. So we can see some African writers, a Canadian writer, uh, Iranian French writer, uh, French photojournalist, um, American writers, and we can see different genres as well, different genres and uh, different time periods. And then this is senior year English. If they don't, if a student doesn't take IB, Lang and Lit for two years, they would go into ERWC. And that was a course that was developed by educators at CSU uh, to prepare students for college level reading and writing. That is it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, Claire Chatfield at cchatfield at cuhsd.org. And I look forward to meeting many of you in person in August.
Welcome to English Language Development, or ELD, at Del Mar High School. My name is Laura Hallinan, and I am an ELD teacher and the ELD coordinator at Del Mar. In this presentation, I will discuss our ELD course pathways, some example coursework in our ELD classes, and our reclassification process. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at the address that you see on the screen. What is English Language Development, or ELD? English Language Development is a program offered to English learners to improve English fluency. If your child is classified as an English learner, then they will be placed in a designated English Language Development class. The ELD class level will determ be determined by the student's proficiency in English, the most current LPAC scores, and middle school recommendation. The goal of the ELD class is to help students increase their English language acquisition so that they reclassify out of ELD. This is the ELD pathway of classes. All English learners take two ELD classes. ELD Reading and ELD Writing. ELD 1 through ELD 3 consists of a reading class and a writing class. Freshmen or ninth graders may start in any level of ELD and progress to grade level English. For example, students who are new to English may start ninth grade in ELD 1 Reading and Writing. They may progress to ELD 2 in 10th grade. And after students take ELD 3, they will take a grade level English class and an English enrichment class. Once students reclassify as proficient, they will only take one English class. All ELD classes are guided by the California State ELD standards, which are aligned with the California State Literacy Standards. Students at all levels of language development practice reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills so that they can increase their language acquisition and increase their skill in all of their high school classes. Please note some of the examples of skills and work that students will be doing at the different levels of ELD in their reading and writing classes and in the enrichment class as well. No matter what level students start off in in high school, our goal as educators is to support students so that they can reclassify as fluent, proficient in English or RFEP. In order to reclassify, students must fulfill some requirements as evidence for the state. First, students must score a four on the English Language Assessment for California, otherwise known as the LPAC exam. Second, students must show proficiency on the CASP, Smarter Balanced Assessment, or on a school site-based assessment or a district-based assessment. Finally, students, English teachers, and parents are consulted before students reclassify. Once reclassification is complete, your student will not take the LPAC exam again. They will not take an ELD class and instead be able to take more electives. We will monitor their progress during high school. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Laura Hallinan, me, at lhallinan at cuhsd.org. We look forward to seeing you in person next year, and welcome to Del Mar.